Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn about post, put and delete method. If you haven't watched the part 1, then please watch it first, then you can continue from here. Let's comment this out. For the post method, we are going to use this. As you can see here, for the post method, you have to add some properties after the URL, such as the name of the method, body which contains data we want to post, also headers which contains content type which is JSON. In this official documentation of a fetch API, there are many more properties available like mode, cache, credentials, redirect, etc. Now for the post method, we need to get some data from user and for that we will create small form. Inside this form, we need four fields. First is the title, which is in the text format. Second is the body, which is also in the text. And the third is a user ID, which is number. Now the last input tag is for the submit button. Don't forget to set its type to submit. We need a state for this form fields and we can do that using only single use state. Name it as inputs and initialize it with an empty object. Create a handle change method to set this inputs state. Pass previous input state by using a spread operator, then use event.target.name and event.target.value to set new values. Call this handle change method on onChange event in each input field. Create a handle submit method and pass event. Let's just log the values for now to see if it is working or not. Call handle submit in the on submit event of the form. Also add placeholder values so that we don't get confused. We should write event.persist here to remove the current event from the event pool. Otherwise an irrelevant value from another event or a null value will be read inside this callback. Our form is working fine. Let's create a post method. Let me comment this. Copy this entire fetch method and paste it inside our component. Instead of this values, Let's set it with our own form inputs. We have to use parse int because the type of the user ID is number. Call this API post method inside the handle submit method. Now we are getting a response. This API will not permit us to update anything on its server. So we cannot check it but uh, we are getting the same output as mentioned here. So our post method is working fine. For the put method, we just have to pass ID of object we want to modify inside the URL like a slash then ID number. 
and change the method name to put while everything else is just the same as we did for the post method. For the delete method, we have to pass the ID of object we want to delete and write a delete as the method name and you are good to go. Here I can't show you because we cannot modify this API. One more thing I want to show you about the async and await keywords. You can use async keyword at the beginning of the function just like this and await keyword before the fetch method. As you can see, everything is working fine. That's it for this video. If you want more videos like this, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.